Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am May, if you don't know me yet. I have a bilingual fashion, beauty and travel blog and it is blameitonmay.com. I am going to leave all the information below so you can follow me on all my social media channels and check out my blog where I have daily outfits, travel stories, where I've been. I recently was in Europe, in um, Germany, Vienna, Prague, so take a look at that. Today I'm going to show you how to create this look. I previously showed you how to do a 15 minute makeup look which is my go to makeup look during the week or when I don't want to have a full face of makeup during the weekend. And I used my new eye makeup kit from Sigma. This is a very nice kit, it's $152 and it brings 13 different brushes. If you add it up, it actually comes out better if you buy them in a kit than in separate ones. And I really recommend Sigma brushes. I have used them for a very long time. I have a lot of them. These are, this is not my entire collection, but I actually have a lot more. I love them because they're a great alternative to higher end brushes and they're the same quality. They last for, like I said, a long time and the quality is incredible and the price point as well. So if you're thinking of getting some um, brushes for your eyes, because the brushes make a great, 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 great difference when you're going to do your makeup, um, the blending, um, all that, it's, it's it plays into the, the brushes that you have. So I totally recommend, even if you don't get the kit, um, maybe I'll do um, a, a, a tutorial or a little review of which ones I believe you should definitely have if you don't want to splurge on the, on the kit. So anyways... I hope you like this look. I tried to do something a little different. I used um, my new Too Faced palette, the, the Sweet Peach. And these colors are beautiful. And for the, the lipstick, I use ColourPop. Uh, this one is called More Better. It's a very pretty berry color. Actually, this is the first one that I wear. I actually have a lot of them. And I don't think I've tried all of them. Um, you can see right here. And these are also very affordable, uh, great quality. But depending on the color, the format is a little different. This one, so far I am loving some of them a little bit on the drier side. But this one, um, I totally recommend. So anyways, I hope you like this makeup look. And don't forget to subscribe and give me some thumbs up. I always clean my face before my makeup application. After cleaning, I also add moisturizer since I have very dry skin. However, I recommend everybody to do this even if you have oily skin. Next, I apply Claude Lee, which is a beauty elixir. I use this as a primer and also as a setting spray. I wait a few minutes so that it can set on my skin before I apply any other products. To conceal the blemishes that I have on my skin, I apply Tarte's Maracuya Creaseless Concealer. I apply it with Sigma's F75 brush, which is a synthetic brush and it works great for cream and liquid products. To blend it, I use my finger in this patting motion. I really like this concealer. As you can see, it covers quite a lot. It lasts throughout the day and it doesn't interact with any other products that I'm going to be using. Next, I am using Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This is very important ladies because we don't want our concealer to crease. Next, for my eyelids, I use Urban Decay's Primer Potion in the color Eden. I prefer an eyeshadow primer with color so that it can even out my skin tone. I apply it with the same Sigma F75 brush that I apply the concealer with. Next, I use the Or Forever Perfect Foundation in the color Linen. This is actually my favorite foundation of all time. I apply it with Tarte Airbrush Finish Bamboo Foundation Brush. This brush is very dense but very soft. As you can see, I use a stippling motion and then I blend it very thoroughly. And don't forget to take your foundation to your neck since usually your neck and your face are two different colors. If you notice, I don't use foundation under my eyes. I prefer not to create layers that I don't need. So with just the concealer is enough. Next, for concealer, I use Maybelline's H Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Concealer. It's actually my favorite drugstore product. 
I use two shades which is light and light medium to create a customized shade. To blend it all I use a damped beauty blender. And for setting my concealer I use my favorite powder which is Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder with of course my beauty blender. And whatever is left on the sponge, I use it in these areas of my face. Remember, since I have dry skin, I don't like to apply that much. For contour, I use Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Kit. And I use Tarte Swirl Power Contour and Bronzer Brush. Okay, this is my favorite because the darkest shade is a neutral tone, which resembles a natural shadow of your skin. To apply the contour shade to my nose, I use Sigma's E60 shader brush. Although this is an eyeshadow brush, I use it for my nose. To create a more pronounced pout, I use the same shade above and under my lips. Next, I use Sigma's F05 brush with the bronze shade from the palette to create some dimension around my face. And for eyebrows, I use my favorite brow pencil of all time. It's Anastasia's Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown. Remember to use feather-like strokes. This will ensure that you create a more natural eyebrow shape. Next, to define the brow even more, I use the same concealer that I use under my eyes with Sigma's E65 Small Angled Brush. Now we're ready for some eyeshadow and I'm using my new Sweet Peach Too Faced palette with my new brushes. With Sigma's E55 brush, I am going to be using the Peaches and Cream shade all over my lid. This would create a base for the entire look. For the crease, I'm going to be using uh, Sigma's E45 Small Taper Blending Brush with the shade Georgia. And don't forget to apply little by little. It is best to have to reapply than to remove. Now I am using Sigma's E36 Blending Brush to apply Delectable. I applied this darker shade on the outer corner of my crease. I also take the color a little bit inward towards my lid. Then with Sigma's E35 Taper Blending Brush, I use Georgia and apply it again on my crease. I'm reapplying shade Peaches and Cream with brush E55 to intensify that color. Next, I am using Sigma's E30 Pencil Brush to apply Nectar. This is one of my favorite shades because it's very sparkly. I add this shade to the inner corner of my eyes and also to the center of my lid. Highlighting the inner corner of your eyes gives the illusion of wider and bigger eyes. Next, I am using Sigma's E20 Short Shader Brush with the color Georgia under my eyes. Note that I'm not taking this color all the way into my inner corner. Then I am using Delectable with the same brush on the outer corners. Next is a trick that I always use. I use Clear Eyes Redness Release Drops to make my eyes wider. Another drugstore favorite, it's a Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Eyeliner. Learning to apply eyeliner, especially liquid eyeliner, takes practice. So I would suggest to practice and practice and practice. My trick is to not close my eye for the actual wing of the line. I do close it for the rest. Next, I apply NYX Wonder Eye Pencil on my waterline in the shade Light. This is another trick that you can't miss on your routine. This creates the illusion of wider and bigger eyes. 
Next, I apply one of my favorite mascaras, which is Tarte Tarteiste. And if you happen to smudge a little bit, make sure to purchase makeup Q-tips and these are great for little touch-ups like this. Now I am going to do the same thing to the other eye, so I'm just going to speed the video up just a bit. Now we are ready for blush and I'm using Hourglass Ambient Lighting um, Trio. I'm using the Electra shade with the brush F25. Now we are ready to highlight. I am using E40 Taper Blending Brush. This happens to be an eye brush but I use it for this with um, Josie Moran's Argan Enlightening Illuminizing Veil. In case you guys didn't know, adding highlighter on top of your cupid's bowl will give the illusion of a bigger pout. Next, I am using NARS Highlighting Blush and this is in the color Albatross. I use this combo because the NARS one is more golden. And to finish off my brows, which I always leave for the last step, I add Anastasia's Brow Gel. Here I am applying Milani's, which is another drugstore favorite lip scrub. I should have done this step before applying my makeup, but I completely forgot. This is actually one of my tricks before applying liquid lipstick. Now we're ready for lipstick. I'm using ColourPop's More Better. This is another instance where the Q-tips come in handy. Thanks so much for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. 